everyone, uh, welcome back to NPTEL online course on structure, form and architecture, the synergy. Today we are at lecture number 23 and I will be discussing on vault structures, the type of vault structures, their advantages. And before that, uh, like uh, if we just recall uh, like the past few lectures that we are focusing on individual structures, their you know pros and cons application. Uh, we have seen in the last lecture about, we talked about arch uh, as a structural form and how we can use it, different kind of arch form, their connection, their support, the multiple use of uh, a diversified use of the arch in buildings, in window, uh, even in the bridges. So, like that, uh, now we move one step ahead, uh, that is we will be discussing on the vault. So, before we start this particular session um, that we have certain idea about the balls that being uh, used in uh, the history. So, it is basically uh, if you take a paper and just try to fold it, roll it with uh, something like this. So, this will become the vault and there are different types of balls, we will uh, discuss that in this lecture. So, let us get started. So, basically vault is a structural form that composed of a series of arch. So, if we consider one arch, then you just repeat the multiple number of arch that will create the form of a vault. And normally the construction, it is the machinery construction, but definitely with advancement of technology, materials, nowadays even we can go with the steel structures, some other uh, materials can also be used to create. Uh, this particular form. The vault must able to withstand uh, outward pressure uh, that is very important. Suppose when you fold a particular plate, so definitely the most of the part will be taking the uh, compression, but where the outer part uh, need to resist the pressure and that pressure will come from the date load from the top load if it is imposed by the structure above. When the vault is underground, Sometimes we create vault to create the tunnel uh, for the water supply, sometimes to create some path, uh, some tunnel for uh, the transportation, so underground metro. So, in that case if you go with this tunnel, this pressure might be resisted by some other feeling. So, whenever we just uh, uh, use something like the tunnel is there and then this is the top portion. So, we feel this portion which will uh, help this. A particular form to resist, but when it is above ground, then something where we will make uh, just on top of uh, a wall or something. So, that should be supported by the walls, so that you know uh, the concept is pretty similar with the arch, we will have a keystone, then we have voices, then we have spring and mostly the symmetry will be maintained. So, that will transfer the load to the supporting structure and that will go to the foundation. That is the same concept. Then in this case also we can also support um, uh, this with buttress that we have seen in some gothic architecture those churches, uh, their uh, the use of buttress to form like uh, the support the arch and all this being used. Even sometimes the parallel walls or the anchors additionally tied to it can help to support it. So, in two conditions when it is to be placed underground, so that can be supported with the filling of materials like the example of the tunnel this one and the second uh, what we uh, just uh, talked about which is above ground that should be supported either with the parallel walls, some um, kind of buttresses, some anchors. Then machinery walls are composed of weight shape pieces with the visors which are held in place to the neighbor pieces. So, basically it is something where we can uh, again take the example of the brick uh, arches. So, this will keep pressure to the next and next will give pressure to the next and like this it will transfer the load to the support. So, it is very similar to the arch, but again the series of arch placing together in a uh, linear direction will give you a form of a vault, but this is only a type of vault, we will come to that, uh, the type of vaults and uh, their evolved uh, like how it evolved 
uh, and the use of the same. Now, what exactly uh, we discussed last slide, it will be clear now. So, what you can see that uh, if we just consider this uh, single part, suppose only we take this much, this is a basically a arch form uh, may be made of masonry, may be of concrete. Now, when you act uh, like at it individually, we just place it one after another uh, separately. So, each one of them is carrying the load individually applied load is applied here and it is being transferred like this to the surface and mostly it is in compression. And when we make the vault is a continuous, you can uh, get uh, the resemblance between these two shape. So, how it will be distributed? When you apply the load, it is distributed based on the homogeneity of the material. Definitely the material should be homogeneous across that, the thickness should be same across uh, this particular vault then it will be distributed like this. Now, the advantage is very simple like you can make some structure obstruction free whenever you have uh, like have to have a like corridor long corridor or maybe sometimes it is a gathering uh, of uh, many people. So, we cannot really put uh, columns uh, in between which will make obstruction uh, that we do not want as uh, like the design. Uh, designer or architect, then we can uh, go with this kind of form. So, like that even um, most of us may be aware of these hangers. So, normally being placed uh, like to make it is uh, to be made to you know put your plane, uh, aeroplane uh, for the maintenance or something like that. Sometimes even you know to make some convention hall. So, we are taking this kind of uh, arch form and use the advantage of this vault. Now, considering the components of the vaults, uh, some of the components are also similar to the arch rather most of them like keystone is the uh, central uh, like which to be placed at the center and the cement will be maintained across that. Then voices are these stones number 2 which actually you know a series of voices they will uh, give uh, put pressure to the next one like this. Then uh, number 3 is uh, basically the back portion of that. Then impost is very important uh, element where like all this you know curved uh, surface ends with and put the load on this vertical wall. Then intrados is basically the interior surface. So, it is opposite to the back. And then the rise that we know that uh, it is to be calculated from uh, your uh, where the imposed uh, end. So, from that what is the rise? Then clear span is basically uh, the span given to this. Then abutment is the support and also we have this uh, spinger where like it uh, really convert uh, transfer the last uh, load to the wall. Now, coming to the materials, uh, it is uh, may be made of your brick machinery, it may be of stone machinery. Sometimes we have also seen uh, it is made of wood and then the concrete definitely after invention of concrete we uh, have actually made many such structure which uh, earlier may as well the brick machinery, but with very you know light thickness uh, uh, and to increase the span we used concrete and then steel is also being used to just take the form of a vault. Now, this is uh, these are the few pictures we will go through. Uh, this is again a rebel masonry and you can see that apart from this you know the scenic beauty of this, if you focus on the structure in this basically this is the arch form and then it is uh, uh, making a like a man made cave. So, this particular form you can see this span is quite huge and it is sustained with those uh, you know rubble work. So, this kind of vault structure is also present. So, coming uh, to a complex one where again it is the vault one and being placed for the corridor. So, normally it is being largely used to cover as a you know roof of the corridor. Uh, and but here it is decorative. So, 
uh, the columns being created and from there like there are different ribs or kind of you know what we call skeleton is coming up to hold this particular vault. So, uh, this is one of the category we will come to that as well. This is something uh, similar to the previous one, this is for the corridor, but now this is actually uh, inside uh, a chapel. Um, so, how beautifully it has been done, you can see that not only uh, the vault form, but also the ornamentation that previously at the initial few lectures we talked about ornamentation of structure. So, here it is actually uh, representing that kind of thing. So, use of this arch and then the vault is making this space very you know beautiful and also structurally stable capable to you know reduce the number of columns uh, to be placed to you know make uh, a large span or large gathering to be accommodated in that situation. Now, this is something uh, really uh, you know giving a nice picture, this is a library and here the vault shape is being created, but it is with the wood uh, that you can see that uh, this being created with some wood material and again it is being used uh, to cover that particular atrium. This space like you can see this is uh, the ground floor, it is double height. So, this uh, span is being holding. So, no column is required in between and also it will give a aesthetic view when you make this curvature, you know uh, this arches and the walls. So, they will uh, really create a nice environment. Now, coming back to the as I told you that nowadays also we can use steel or uh, sometimes also the glass and steel combination, some other fabric material and steel combination. So, this is one example I have taken from a, uh, your a station. So, in this case you can see this uh, particular form is being created with multiple series of truss, but overall like you can get like the huge span without any column. So, this is one advantage to use this particular vault form which is basically a series of arches. Now, coming to the type of vaults, so depending on uh, some of uh, the shape and other things. So, uh, there are many classifications. So, what I have picked up is basically the type of barrel vault and we will discuss uh, uh, with some image for each of them. The uh, groin vault, rib vault, cloister for vault, then the fan vault you have, then net vault, annular vault, rampant and then Catalan. So, what exactly are they and how they are different to look like, we will go through it. So, barrel vault is basically, we know the barrel uh, is if you just uh, make a barrel position like this, it is laying on this and you just cut this with a section. So, you just cut in half piece and as because it is hollow, so it will give a figure uh, something like this. Right. So, this is basically the barrel vault and you can see this example, it is basically the same. So, if we complete this image, uh, so that uh, is hypothetically give you the particular form of a barrel. So, this is called barrel vault. Now, what exactly it says? A barrel vault is a continuous arch shape that may approximate to a semi cylinder form. So, this is very important. So, when we take a cylinder like this, we make a section, ok and this is a hollow cylinder obviously and then you just uh, rotate it. So, we will get this particular form. So, this is the barrel vault. This can be used as a roof of the tunnel as I mentioned when we just uh, make the underground and uh, maybe point it sometimes even we will not always get this particular thing uh, in a semicircular form. Sometimes you can also get the form even in some of the images we have seen that it is formed by a series of arches that is the common phenomena that is also there. The barrel walls must be able to withstand the outer pressure on the lower part definitely when it actually coming to this. So, that should take uh, the load of this. So, uh, again with the symmetry the load is being distributed both the side with the homogeneity in material that will transfer very systematically and then uh, that will transfer to the post imposed uh, the abutment and then 
they will go to the foundation. So, these, these lows transfer. Now, coming to the example of the barrel vault, we have two pictures back to back. Here you can see it is uh, the you know the stone uh, brick machinery. So, where you can see that how it is being formed. Uh, this vault it is similar. Uh, this is quite simple like we can see the masonry the you know layers of the brick. Here it is the same thing, but uh, apart from that the additional ornamentation is being done. So, different color different you know height that being formed in this. So, it is again uh, another use of this. So, uh, mostly this, this kind of vault being used in the gothic and then the Byzantine that particular period uh, we will uh, we, we can see that and um, gradually they will uh, transform, they have transformed from that you know old uh, type of vault, old type of material and now slowly slowly it will move towards some advanced material that will take that will retain this particular vault form, but um, uh, like the materials the structural property they optimize it. Coming to the groin vault, uh, it is basically uh, if you take uh, two uh, barrel vault and then you just uh, make a penetration at uh, 90 degree to each other. So, from top view if we just try to draw it, so it is something like that. So, this is basically the groin vault and if you can see this isometric uh, where uh, it is making a form. So, sometimes uh, for intersection of two corridor that roof can be created like this or making a post like this we can create it. So, that will give uh, a few more intersection of the curvatures and that will have a better visual appling and we will uh, also see in the images. Now, your groin vault uh, or double barrel vault that already I mentioned is formed by the intersection of two barrel vaults at right angles. This is the basic condition, the groin is the edge between the intersection vault. So, basically this edge uh, that we get when they intersect as because they are in curvature. So, when they intersect also will form a intersection line as a curve. So, this is the groin, the efficient structure that only has to be rest in the corners. So, they have to really uh, make uh, the structure in such a manner they can make this. A series of groin walls can be built next to one each other to you know have uh, like the similar effect of a barrel wall. So, we can place one after another. So, then uh, like it will make a two barrel vault crossing. So, this can be extended further to get a view of the barrel vaults. So, let us see what exactly it is. In this you can just try to understand how it is being made. So, uh, like if you just take this curvature. Okay. So, this is one particular vault and then when you take this particular part, so you will take this vault. So, the curvature is being uh, seen this is from the inside, uh, in, uh, this is an interior view of a, a Goyen vault. So, this look like this and something which is very simpler with uh, your, uh, your brick machinery, then also you can see the similar kind of curvature. So, you can see the edges that how they crossed each other. So, previously we have seen the very simple form and now this is pointed and this corner is only being supported. In the barrel vault what was the different like in barrel vault the whole portion like as because it is to be supported a continuous. So, you need a wall or sometimes uh, maybe it is supported with a thick wall in different parts of the section. Uh, we have seen that uh, you know in this image that this uh, arch being created it is being supported like this, but for this groin vault only we have to support the corners. So, whenever we get these corners after intersecting two barrel vaults we have to support this, then rest of the things will take care uh, with its form. Coming to the reap, so reap is uh, similar, uh, similar to your uh, skeleton. So, where the vault being created and uh, that structure that on which the uh, masonry work or uh, your um, concrete work being done is basically a form of a skeleton. So, you can see that how beautifully with symmetry with a proper geometry experiment uh, like this has been created. 
So, reef fault is a scaly, uh, structural skeleton of arches onto which machinery can be laid. So, what I just mentioned it is the same thing the crossed arch domes is one of the type of reef fault. So, whenever we uh, make uh, the curvature like this and then we give uh, say uh, we create this particular form with two arches and we just uh, make uh, some arrangement like we just connect those points with some machinery that will give a form of a you know what we call dome. So, we will be discussing that in the next lecture the type of domes and what exactly. So, normally it is uh, something like here we just started with the half portion of the cylinder that will be something uh, in general the half cut of a sphere. So, that will be the dome. Then reefs instead of the meeting the dome center they intervene to the polygons. So, different kind of polygons being made. So, this is one series and then you have a cross section. So, they, they are really maintaining a particular symmetry to uh, distribute the load very uh, you know uniformly evenly so that the structure will remain uh, safe uh, standing. So, this is something really uh, very beautiful example that I have picked up. Uh, this is a great mosque of your Cordoba. So, in this case you can uh, get the essence that multiple arches like how they just make the connection the beautiful geometry is maintained to just create this particular you know uh, your uh, what we call uh, this uh, dome inside this and then further decoration being made. But overall with this intersection of cross they are making a structure of octagon. So, this is uh, 8 side 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, octagonal shape being created with this curvature and it is in continuous mode. So, this kind of uh, you know experiment like with the reef vault. So, we provide like a beam uh, like a curve beam being provided and on top of it we make it. So, this beautiful punctures that being created always this is giving a nice feeling and with beautiful ornamentation that we have seen in the history the application is really fantastic to watch. Again with this number of arches as because uh, we do not have a continuous uh, wall or something like the barrel vaults again we have to uh, support this kind of corners with um, the pillars that means only the corner will be taken into consideration. Now, come to the cloister vault. So, it is also known as the dome vault. It is basically the dome shaped and then uh, basically different polygonal uh, shape that will be created that I have drawn uh, there. So, it is one arch and this is one arch and how they are connected. So, this particular portion is little bit flat and then uh, when you go up it will be even flatter. Uh, the uh, arch towards uh, like the center from a constant point to the you know uh, spring point along the wall. So, this particular point is the spring. So, from there they coming to a center they are meeting to each other to create this cluster vault and this is the example that you can see that how it being formed. So, this is one arch and this is one arch. So, they are diagonally crossing each other this is the same for here as well and they create this kind of vault. Again it is similar to the previous one, but here uh, 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 in the earlier uh, image we have seen that reefs very predominant you are not. Coming to the fan vault and uh, we all know fan we consider the ceiling fan or something where like with the center we have some blades and if you just increase it. So, it will give a uh, fan shape even uh, the hand blown uh, form of your fan is something like this that we uh, use. So, this kind of uh, vault being created with proper geometry this is some schematic plan I have uh, picked up from the net. Uh, you can study more on this uh, definitely going to the disk uh, like your um, website given. So, fan vault is formed a series of concave sections or reefs that spread out uh, uh, from a series of spring points. So, starting from uh, the point where like it ends. So, from there this spring point this kind of reefs being created to create 
a particular fan form. And then the ribs of a fan vault are equal curvature and rotated equal distance. So, this is another geometry to be followed the uh, di, um, di, uh, difference the gap between those curvature they are maintaining with certain angle and only mostly used in the gothic architecture. Now, you can see how beautifully it being done. So, in this case again this is the spring area uh, and then from there how like with very uh, nicely with symmetry this being made. So, if I just take uh, this particular portion and I just overlap the drawing. So, you can easily identify the type of vault. So, next time if you visit this kind of structure somewhere. So, you can easily uh, identify the type of vault. Net vault is something where net is uh, we are much aware about different kind of nets. Uh, so, it is the same the checker box and also multiple curvature they are just crossing each other. So, create this kind of you know uh, net. So, this is uh, a example of the net vault. Coming to the annular vault, annular vault is something uh, related to the barrel vault, but barrel vault is uh, you know you remember like it is being placed like this on a corridor right where the plan is something you have uh, the plan like very simple plan and on top of it you have this. So, if I try to uh, get a section like this, so I will be seeing like this, but in the annular form of vault instead of the straight rectangle they have in uh, some you know curvature. So, that means uh, in this case if I take uh, out the view, so you can identify that it is not very straight corridor the vault that being created and evolved. So, that is basically is uh, your annular. So, for example, uh, uh, the easy example that I could give you to get this kind of uh, shape that uh, you know in uh, uh, what we have that particular foot of donut type or maybe the vara. So, then you just cut uh, that slice. So, you will get this kind of form. So, it basically the dome form, but it is again rounded. So, this is something else or else you can take example of uh, those you know plastic uh, balloons or uh, what we call like um, what we safety aids for the swimmers and all. So, that will also get similar kind of thing. So, we have a circular one and also we have curvature this. So, we can cut it like uh, cut this particular section. So, we will get this annular vault. Rampant vault is where the symmetry is not maintained. So, a continuous wagon vault cradle vault whose two apartments are located and inclined plane. So, in this case what you can see that uh, in this abutment it is in the lower portion and here it is the upper portion and how it is connected is not really making symmetry it is in inclined form. So, earlier whatever we have uh, you know discussed they are all in aligned and the vault being created with that fan or uh, your ripped. So, this support is at the same level, but here it is not and normally this kind of vault being used uh, to support. Uh, the staircase. So, here also you can uh, get this idea uh, that how it is being supported. So, this is basically a staircase. The impost on one side is higher than the other that just I have explained this is higher and this is lower. Okay. I think um, by looking at the picture it is more clear like uh, there is uh, some very little scope to explain it because it is self explanatory. So, what I suggest you for all, all these kind of example you try to come up with some more examples and uh, then you just share with me uh, okay, in the forum then we can discuss over it and then uh, we can uh, actually you know increase the number of examples in each category and we will also confirm ourselves that whether we are uh, able to judge a particular vault uh, in the category or not. Now, the Catalan vault is something where the slope uh, like the rise is very very less almost flat vault that we can uh, say that here also if you uh, just consider 
this particular arch. So, rise is very less and that can be this particular uh, portion is being made with the brick and this kind of vault being used where the upper portion of the vault to be used. Because whenever you increase the rise, okay, it will give you better result, but uh, definitely uh, like you cannot really use this particular space unless you fill it with some materials or something like that. Okay, but if you just make it almost flat, so you can just use material, minimum material to make it plain and you can use the upper story. So, this is the example of the Catalan vault. So, what it says, just let us go through the text. Uh, the Catalan vault is a type of low brick work arch forming a vaulted ceiling that often support a floor above. Okay. That is already I explained. It is constructed by laying a first layer of light bricks lengthwise and in space. So, it is being constructed one after another and you know uh, this uh, require very uh, good uh, expertise to really come up with so that uh, it will not really fall. So, now we are uh, coming to the end of this uh, uh, lecture. So, what uh, exactly we summarize if we want to summarize here? So, we started with the vault is vault is basically evolved from arches. So, the we know the property of arch and this in this arch from the keystone the load is being distributed and then we extend it. Okay. So, that will become the vault and vault they are uh, also capable enough to take uh, care of the long span without much support vertical support so that we can create the obstruction free space. And then uh, we also discuss about the material, it is the similar material that we have used for the arches over the you know uh, years, like it started with the stone brick machinery work and then after that you know uh, being uh, like concrete being introduced to make this and then the steel glass that I have shown the example of a railway station shed where this being used. And then uh, the advantage is this and definitely um, for this kind of uh, structure, uh, sometimes if you go with a very minimal slope and all, uh, the load on the you know shuttering or the temporary work being also reduced uh, to this, but definitely when you have a huge arch and all, so shuttering will come into picture. Now also what we have discussed the application of the vault. So, it being applied like a tunnel, it may be a roof of a corridor and sometimes it may be also used uh, in a central hall like in charge and all that we have seen in gothic architecture and all. Then we have uh, also discussed a series of uh, vault types and then we started with very simple where it is the barrel vault and barrel means it is something look like this. So, uh, then if you just make the position uh, like make a rotation. So, this is the barrel and you just cut a section and then whatever you see is basically this. Okay. So, this is the barrel vault and then we move a uh, little bit, uh, we moved with this and uh, the intersection of two will give you the groin wall. Then also we discussed uh, the you know intersection of different arches and then creating the dome with the crossed uh, arch dome or uh, the you know we have the cluster uh, vault. Then we have the rib vault and also we have seen that uh, at the corner for the groin vault and other thing where two uh, different uh, vault intersecting them each other at 90 degree. So, this uh, basically the corner will be the crucial can be supported. Then also we discussed at the corner we can support uh, with some ribs in regular interval uh, and creating a safe of fan. So, that is the fan vault and the Catalan vault that we have used where the rise is very less. So, these are the uh, most predominant types of vault being used and in it has diversified application like now it is also even for the corridor we just modified the materials and go for uh, this kind of vault. Even we have seen one example of library where wood being used to create the vault. So, this is something in short vault will help us to uh, you know make uh, larger space, larger span without more obstruction. The disadvantage whenever you have high rise then the upper portion 
you cannot really use. So, for that you have to go for the low rise uh, vault the Catalan vault, but there are other uh, parameters as well. So, proper thing uh, proper uh, shattering is also required to make it uh, to make it more stable and then the materials. So, this is overall uh, like where we have discussed uh, the vault structure uh, similar to the arch and it is being useful being used from the history and also in the now present days. So, um, this is some lesson that we should get and we can apply in our design wherever we need some large span for the community hall or maybe something some big gathering. Uh, we can go for it. If I want to make it very interesting some central part of this uh, the room something interesting we can go with the fan vault or uh, you know ribbed vault, but definitely for that we need very good geometry uh, to be maintained with the good expertise uh, in that construction we need good machine. So, here we conclude uh, this particular lecture and these are the sum of uh, uh, the material that being repeated, but this is a new addition to this particular vault study. So, you can go through this book, you get more example the evolution of vault in detail and different history uh, how it evolved uh, in this book. So, with that I uh, would like to thank you all to take part in this lecture and we will be meeting in the le next lecture with dome structures. So, another uh, discussion on the dome. Uh, and they are like the how it uh, evolved and then the type of domes and their use. So, till then bye bye, thank you.